Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines, better known as a one-handed mechanic, if I can do it, you can too. Today we have here a Cub Cadet LT46. This is an XT1 Enduro Series. I just wanted to show you guys that a lot of you guys are saying how, wow, the machine looks brand new. And uh, the reason why most of my videos, most of them, not all of them, the reason why they're so clean is because I want to give you this look at of this Cub Cadet, I'm gonna have a video on this on the doing the choke. And yeah, this is in pretty crappy condition, as you can see. And it's full of full of grass and debris under these covers. But when we come back to it, it's gonna look a lot different. This is a uh, add-on to the video that I just showed you about this being so dirty. You guys are always saying out there how clean it is. It looks like it's never been run. This one has 100 hours on it, it was in for service, and this video is about the no start condition when you're cranking it up on choke. But look at the machine, nice and clean. This is how I let them go out of my shop. A lot cleaner than it was. That's how clean my machines are, and I like to show you videos that are when they're clean. Let's get to it right now. This is a no start condition and a choke is not going on correctly. It's very simple. In my eyes, it's a very simple procedure to fix this. First thing you want to do is put the emergency brake on and make sure that we can actually crank this while we're not sitting on the tractor. You're going to take the hood off. And by doing that, it's just a little clip on this side. There's a clip here for your headlights and it's pretty straightforward. You just push this in and then pull out and that'll take your headlights off. And then you can just slide the slide the hood up up it's a very nice easy way of doing it i like the way these are made our issue is up here underneath the carburetor and it's going to be this is your choke that must go on and it's not going on all the way and for tools we have a, a t20 torx that you can put on the end of a socket for this guy right here or an eight millimeter socket which is what i'm going to use here it's a, T, it's a T20 Torx head that can go inside there. To show you what's going on is I'm going to take off the air cleaner cover right here. I call these wings, just flip the wings out all the way. This will pop right up. Take the air cleaner cover off. Right down in here is the choke plate, this little silver guy right there. When you come up to your throttle, you have a setting where you'll feel the throttle go up and it'll stay. That's fast. Okay, and then when you bump it up past fast, that, that's how you put the choke on. Now let's go down to the, I'm going to do this manually up here, and you're going to watch inside here. When I it, put it all the way up to full, all the way up to full, you'll feel it click. And then you go up to choke, and I'm putting the choke on. As you can see, that flap went down, okay, but it did not go down all the way. Okay, so if you come underneath here, and you look at this choke lever right here. That is what moves that flap in the carburetor closed. So when you put your throttle all the way up to fast, which it is now, and I go and put it on choke, you'll see that lever move. All right, I'm back down on fast. Now up to choke, it does move, okay? But right now there's a little bit of, you can see where my finger, I'm gonna push this up. It didn't close it all the way. So up here, let me show this. I'm going to do my finger while you look at that flap down inside there. Okay, so I'm going to use my finger and push that arm up. See how it closed all the way? That is our problem. Okay, so what we need to do is, because this is not going fully on choke, what you're going to do is come to your throttle. You're going to take it up to fast right here. And then you're going to look down at your arm on the choke. Now, while I'm up at the throttle, now this should move as soon as I go to put it up on choke. And I just moved it. As you can see, if you look at right here, this is what we're going to adjust. See how it's not moving that arm right now? This is the throttle cable that's moving. And eventually it comes over to move this choke right here. You see how it moves right now? Okay, so we need to get that to move as soon as I'm putting it from fast to choke. So what we're gonna do is loosen the nut just a little bit, just enough that we can pull that cable through. 
All right, it just slid back a little bit. But I want to do is I want to, my throttle on the dash is at full speed. Now I'm pulling this until I see this arm right here move. So right there it moved. I'm just going to go ahead and tighten it right about where it starts to move. I'm going to, holding it with my left arm back here so I can hold this steady. And I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up. And don't over tighten this screw, but you got to make sure it's tight because I've seen these strip out. Now also, there's a little bit of rust right here, and I would definitely put a little bit of, I use um, a little penetrating oil, but you don't want to use too much oil around here because it'll collect dirt. But anyway, all right, so we have, it's up on fast right now. I'm going to go ahead and try to move the throttle up to choke. Now it's starting it as soon as I, as soon as I put it up to choke, it's working. Now all the way down to idle, all the way up to fast, and then as soon as I get off of fast, it moves that choke. That's exactly how it should be. Now if you come up here and look at the, it's on fast right now, and there's the paddle, there's the choke plate. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring it up a little bit. And you can see it starts right away. Now watch it close all the way. That is all the way closed. We now have a real easy starting condition as opposed to crank, 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 and it won't start. So let's go ahead and just fire this up real quick. Okay, so that wasn't too terrible at all. Just make sure you want to check inside here when you put your throttle all the way up to fast which it is now you do not want this to actually move that choke plate as soon as you bring it up past fast just a little bit just like that you're going to see it close all the way and that's pretty much adjusted perfect this thing will start up pretty much every time now on choke i'm going to go ahead and put the air cleaner back in And as long as the, I call these wings, but as long as these tabs are facing out, they should line up perfectly. There's a little tab right here, and it lines up perfectly with that. So make sure your tabs are all the way out. Push it down in, click it in. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna go ahead and put the hood back on. Make sure you plug your lights in. that close the hood and when you start up the tractor again up on choke the lights should go on on the XT1 version they're automatic starts up every time that's pretty much it for how to adjust the choke on a Cub Cadet LT46 XT1 Endora series with a twin cylinder Kohler it's the uh, Kohler 7000 series motor on it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, share my channel with your friends, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.